discover how to unlock cybersecurity business opportunities in Paris region. Um, this is uh, thanks to uh, our three speakers uh, today that I'm going to introduce you to. So we are going to explain why Paris region is a perfect place to grow your cybersecurity business. Before I introduce the speakers, I wanted to, to tell you that you can uh, ask questions for the, the last uh, people uh, in, coming into this uh, webinar. You can ask your question anytime through the question tool. First, I'm glad to introduce you to our first uh, speaker today, Sébastien Garneau. Hi, Sébastien. Um, you're, you're head of the European Cyber Task Force and organizer of the Paris Cyber Week. You'll start with a presentation on how high-level cybersecurity partnerships are made and uh, what is the place of the Paris region in, uh, in the European landscape. Um, Guillaume, then uh, we will listen to Guillaume Serafin. Hi, Guillaume. Uh, Hi, Thomas. You're a cybersecurity industry expert at the Economic Development Agency of uh, Saint-Quentin en Yvelines. Uh, you will tell us how cyber is this uh, specialized area of the Paris region. Thank you for being here too. Uh, Stéphane, Stéphane, sorry, uh, last but not least, uh, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Stéphane Contiou, Chief Operating Officer at SEAL, a scale-up of the Paris region. Hi Stéphane. Hi Thomas, hi everybody. Your uh, testimony about the regulatory and economic conditions where your company grew up, so thank you. And um, I will be your presenter and moderator today. Uh, my name is Thomas Fauvel, so um, I support international deep tech companies to get the most of the Paris region ecosystem. Uh, I work for Choose Paris region, which uh, I will present to you. So it's time to get started. Uh, now uh, I'm leaving the, the tool to uh, my uh, guest. Sebastian, one moment. Thank you, Thomas. Uh, hello, everyone, and thank you for being with us this morning. I would like first to wish you the best year ever, and I hope uh, it will be in Paris. Um, so this morning we are together to highlight how uh, to unlock cybersecurity uh, business opportunities, and I would like to share with you some keys at European and national level uh, on uh, our around three, three uh, subjects, uh, regulation, uh, politics, and how private and public sector are cooperating together. So let's move on on the second slide uh, straight away. So yeah, five point is uh, for us uh, make Paris uh, region uh, one of the main point and the gate to ent uh, to interest into the European market. The first one would would be uh, the ecosystems. You will find in France lots of uh, industry performance, and uh, of course uh, the the French government is very willing to. Uh, welcome uh, uh, European enterprise, and you will uh, see it. <coughs> you will see it in the context of Brexit, uh, as our British friends are leaving us. Paris uh, is one of the main um, leadership in, uh, well, leader city in uh, in cyber security ecosystem. And why? Because we are uh, connected to the whole Europe. Um, our uh, infrastructure here in Paris, but I would say in France, are very uh, developed and help us as a businesses uh, to be in touch with all uh, our clients and partnership. Um, we have two international airports that bring us uh, all the uh, first first plan um, leadership uh, leaders uh, and i would say um, of course uh, public decision decision makers maybe you heard about the power school for uh, trust and uh, cyberspace uh, stability launched in 2018 by president macron under the un 
Um, and it shows how France is focusing on cyber and uh, so a thing that um, uh, trust is a question of, uh, of uh, building and uh, it, it <coughs> sorry, it must be done with um, the, the businesses and especially uh, SMEs. SMEs are very, very welcomed by, by the French government every year. Um, President Macron is uh, welcoming uh, the, the first plan um, uh, startup leader uh, to show how we can help them uh, to, to, be, uh, to be comfortable in France and especially in Paris as it is the leader. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm seeing something. Uh, sorry. It is very, uh, the, the, the France is very um, business friendly now uh, because of uh, the, the new government uh, uh, again. Why? Because first of all, um, we, we had a, uh, we had politics who were not from uh, business now they come from and uh, they they had a life before and now uh, they they enter into the mindset of the businesses. One need the uh, um, um, head of of, uh, of a firm. He would need um, human resources, finance, clients, partnership, and we all doing our best to connect all the people. And actually, it's my job. Uh, with the cyber task force, I'm going throughout France and throughout Europe to connect ecosystem and to make links between them to to uh, ensure a business opportunity uh, to make it uh, to make it uh, w in a win-win way uh, for the the our partner in Europe, but al also for uh, for Paris region uh, to 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 ensure that uh, the the GDP of all of us is growing. Then I will, I would like to talk about skills in cybersecurity. Was on our main issues is how uh, to uh, maintain talents in our firm, and um, the the politics in France uh, are providing a very huge effort to produce very high level engineers, but also uh, people who are uh, from A level plus two years of studies because of course we need very high level engineers but not at all stage so uh from something like maybe one year one year and a half lots of program uh, in uh, private school and in the national education system are focusing on cyber and digital because we think here that digital uh, that um cyber is uh, the key to, to lead the transform the digital transformation with trust. So uh, you will find also a lot of skills and lots of European uh, people are coming in our school and then uh, sometimes leave us, but uh, very often stay because uh, there is a way of life that very that is very interesting for everyone. Um, so if you, you come to Europe and you want to address the European market and you get to Paris, you will find ecosystem, partnership, schools, infrastructure, and a way of life, and all your, uh, your family, your, and of course, I guess, uh, your um, collab collaborator, sorry for my English, your collaborator will then enjoy life and, and have, and can balance uh, their private life with their, um, with their uh, jobs. And uh, in this time, with the wide generation, in a way, it's something that uh, we ex that very expected, and um, yeah, Paris region is providing all these opportunities. From this, uh, and because of the cyber task force, uh, we we met lots of uh, people that we are working with um, in in uh, the member states of the EU, and then we decided to. Uh, to welcome them at an annual meeting with this Paris Cyber Week. You can find it on the web, Paris, pariscyberweek.com. Uh, it's playing on June, every year in June, and this uh, year it will be on the third, on the second and the third. And it's a time where all the businesses 
all the industrial uh, sector and all the public decision makers are gathering to discuss uh, how we can um, we can together uh, address the, the 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 market and finally uh, unlock cybersecurity business opportunities. Thank you, everyone. So oh, you had um, uh, an overview of uh, the general uh, place of Paris region in the European landscape. Uh, so uh, can anybody see my presentation? Oh, sorry, partage. Uh, no, um, I want. I just tried one more time. Okay. Okay, okay, perfect. So, yes, thank you, Sebastian, for, for this uh, introduction to uh, the topic of uh, Paris region inside the European landscape. And um, I'm pretty sure that you will have questions about the Paris uh, Cyber Week, uh, which is um, the, uh, the event I wanted to, uh, to present. Uh, here is uh, just a quick view of uh, this uh, event website feel free to uh, to see the the agenda which is uh, amazing with uh, international speakers uh, you have two days uh, to really get in touch with the main players in europe for the uh, cyber security strategies of different countries so thank you sebastian for uh, introducing us to to that opportunity uh, so the next speaker is in fact me. I'm a deep tech industry expert uh, at, uh, at this uh, wonderful organization, which is Choose Paris Region. And uh, so now let's go to the regional level. Uh, I will uh, show you the, uh, the assets of uh, the, the beautiful Paris region. So um, first uh, I work for the non-profit agency Choose Paris Region. Uh, Choose Paris Region is the regional agency in charge of economic development. We support international companies willing to expand in the Paris region. We bring our market and industry expertise together with an extensive network to support you in soft landing operations. Uh, we support all kinds of companies at every step of the, of the process, from early discovery, planning phase, execution, and we even take care of your success after you set up. Our services are free of charge and, of course, confidential. With our global team in Europe, the US and China, the agency accompanies and accelerates more than 1,000 international companies each year. Now I'm going to present the economic environment of the Paris region, but quite quickly, as uh, Sebastian already uh, told a lot of things about it. So uh, here is a, a map of uh, the Paris region. Paris city is this uh, little blue cycle in the middle of uh, the Paris region map. You, uh, you will uh, see it here. So it's, it's quite similar to other uh, urban uh, areas. Uh, the city is in the middle and uh, you have a pretty uh, much uh, green lens around as well. Uh, the, the region has a GDP equivalent to the Netherlands and uh, a GDP higher than the Greater London. It's uh, a 12 million inhabitant region. Um, Paris City is, uh, in fact, sometimes called a business hub. Wh why can we talk about a business hub? Paris region offers the Europe's highest concentration of Fortune 500 corporations by far. And uh, in fact, this is the third in the world after Greater Tokyo and Greater Beijing. Uh, there are more than uh, 1 million companies in our region. We cover every industry. Uh, we host national and even European decision centers in every of these sectors, from aerospace to mobility, ICT, cosmetics, and biomedical energy. 
Paris region is the first uh, European region for international R&D investment too. And uh, the local R&D expenditure with 20 billion uh, euros is three times higher than the one from Greater London. Uh, what you see here in, on, on the picture is a part of the, the, the Paris Saclay uh, area, an area that concentrates 15% of the whole French research. It's uh, also uh, a region, a, a real startup region with uh, 8,000 tech startups uh, in the region and uh, many places, innovation centers to, uh, to welcome them. The one you see here is the, the largest uh, startup uh, campus in the world. It's called uh, Station F. It's quite famous now. Um, so um, let's talk now about cybersecurity business only. Um, and uh, I wanted to give some figures uh, about uh, what it is today in France. It's a huge market. It's the second one in Europe with uh, 9 billion euros revenues. Uh, and it's increasing every year, about 10%. Uh, and the, uh, the, the number of companies in France is, only on cybersecurity is 600, uh, gathering 60,000 jobs. But uh, focusing on uh, the uh, cyber uh, security um, uh, that are only startups uh, companies, uh, we have uh, an account of uh, 137 purely cybersecurity startups uh, in 2019. The, uh, this is a, a figure out of the uh, excellent uh, Wavestone study uh, that uh, I recommend. You, you will be able to download it uh, when, when you want. You will receive this presentation, of course. And um, this is in France and mostly in, in Paris region where more than 60% of the cybersecurity startups are located. This is really an innovative ecosystem. And um, just uh, an example, 44% of the startups uh, created since 20, uh, 2018 are creating new security solutions. Uh, they represent over 1,200 direct jobs. Uh, I wanted to show some cybersecurity uh, business hotspots of the Paris region. That's why I uh, prepared this uh, map, which gives uh, a good view of uh, where cyber economy uh, is booming. Paris is, uh, is here. Uh, this is uh, in, in, the, in the middle of, uh, of this map. And you can uh, see uh, that the, the blue uh, light blue is uh, a place where you can easily set up uh, in a friendly ecosystem for ICT and cybersecurity companies, uh, your, your, your company. And the, these are the concentration in dark blue uh, where you have uh, most of the de decision centers and cybersecurity actors. There are also uh, places like uh, Sergi and uh, Roissy, which, uh, which are good places for uh, such businesses. Um, this is uh, an interesting uh, example, example of uh, the southwest uh, region of uh, the Paris region called Paris Saclay. You will have a full explanation of uh, its assets uh, right after me, uh, thanks to Guillaume, um, which is uh, from saint quentin en yvelines a part of Paris Saclay area. Uh, this is a map of the ICT companies and ICT R&D labs uh, gathered in this uh, very special area I told you about. Um, I listed some events uh, related to cybersecurity for you. This is just an agenda for uh, the, the months to come. Um, mostly you have uh, some small uh, events where you can network, uh, like uh, e-crime cybersecurity friends in the middle. Uh, you can also have a, a very broad of, overview of what, what France is able to do uh, at Millipol, which is a huge exhibition uh, on uh, defense and uh, security uh, uh, players. 
um, Sebastian introduced to introduced us to the Paris Cyber Week, uh, which will happen uh, beginning of June, uh, and we'll gather 400 attendees. It's quite uh, a dedicated uh, event where you have only specialists, uh, and you have more broad. Um, broad uh, events where there are uh, like really business uh, oriented meetings for uh, cloud and cybersecurity in November, cloud and data centers soon in, in March. And uh, you have um, a full expo on, on protection uh, gathering 20,000 visitors uh, uh, in November. Um, I'm proud to speak also uh, as Choose Paris Region uh, about uh, an excellent opportunity, which is uh, exclusive and selective as well. Uh, it's an open innovation event that uh, Paris Region is hosting. It's called Tech Meetings. Tech Meetings bring together uh, large companies of the Paris Region with uh, foreign startups only every month in a specific uh, topic. Uh, this will be uh, about cybersecurity on April uh, the 2nd and the uh, deadline to register is uh, 13th of March. Uh, you just have to contact me or uh, Paris Region, uh, Choose Paris Region anytime to have more information about it. Uh, and I will for sure uh, give you the, the, the link to, uh, to have more information in the uh, following up uh, email. Um, it's, it will be... Uh, uh, a pity not to say that uh, Paris 2024, the Olympic Games, uh, won't be a, a wonderful opportunity for cybersecurity businesses because you will be able to show your, your innovation uh, to uh, to the uh, through through the, the the main sport event in the world. Uh, for your information. Uh, the organization in charge of selecting the cybersecurity solutions for 2024 is called CNSG, it's the uh, uh, Olympic Games uh, Security uh, Office, uh, that is uh, managed by the, uh, uh, the Minister of uh, Security. So, uh, Sebastian told you about the importance of hiring and retaining high quality talents. I, I'm sure it's your, uh, your, your, your issue uh, when you want to grow a tech business. Uh, I just want to highlight the fact that Paris region is, uh, has a long history of scientific excellence uh, with uh, a, a plenty of Nobel Prizes in science and uh, especially in uh, mathematics with uh, Fields Medal as well. It's uh, really a first uh, region in Europe for this uh, excellence in mathematics. We have uh, excellent uh, research and excellent engineering schools as well, which are located in Paris region. That's where you can pick up some excellent top-notch talents uh, to, uh, to uh, tackle real uh, top-level issues, especially in cybersecurity. Um, here is a map of the, the clusters and R&D institutes dealing with cybersecurity, uh, like um, the Cybersecurity Valley, uh, which is a, a kind of city-scale living lab to experiment in real-life security solutions for citizens. You have also uh, the CEA list. Uh, this is a national research institute gathering 800 scientists, not only on cybersecurity, but uh, really uh, focusing on AI-based systems, uh, uh, as well as uh, data science and protection. The IRT SystemX uh, is a, a very special uh, research center as well, uh, where you have 120 researchers in Paris Saclay, uh, and that federates uh, different, uh, different research labs and uh, companies. Uh, we have a, a cluster that uh, is one of the biggest in, in France. This is the Systematic Paris Region uh, Cluster, Innovation Cluster, where uh, you can meet 800 companies and research labs like Alcatel-Lucent, Alstom, 
Bull, Dassault, Thales, uh, and uh, they managed to uh, nearly uh, to um, to launch nearly 500 R&D projects uh, since uh, they start. Um, you also have, uh, oops, sorry. You have uh, Exatrust. Uh, Exatrust is a, a professional association gathering 50 uh, innovative companies in cloud computing and cybersecurity. And the famous internationally renowned uh, INRIA uh, Research Center, National Research Institute, sorry, focusing on digital technologies with uh, 700 scientists in Paris. Um, I'm also uh, happy to uh, highlight some of the uh, uh, graduate schools and um, in innovation places for uh, cybersecurity. Uh, this is, uh, for example, ISEP, an ICT engineering school. This is also LTCI, a, a lab dedicated to uh, uh, ICT at the Telecom Paris Tech Engineering School. We have a, a, a common lab between Electricity of France and uh, the um, Telecom Paris Tech, Seido uh, Lab. Um, excellent uh, to know, Thales has uh, Cyber Station F. It's, um, it's a place where, uh, like, like an incubator or maybe more uh, an accelerator uh, dedicated to cyber security uh, startups. Uh, this is a, a program uh, that you uh, you should discover, and I will also share a link to uh, apply to their program that is opening now to international companies. Um, and uh, some other uh, engineering schools like EPITA, which is very well known in France for their excellent engineers. So um, it's time to. Uh, talk about the different R&D opportunities and financial incentives that Choose Paris Region as, as a public organization is able to, to provide uh, to you and to, we will explain you how it works. That's, uh, that's our mission. So uh, there is a, a, a support all along the way to, to your setup in Paris Region. Uh, by Choose Paris Region to find partners, to find the best financial solution to your, uh, to your um, projects. Uh, there are many things to, to say about it. It's not the, the, the purpose of this presentation, but once again, you will receive these slides uh, um, that will explain uh, in some details how you can benefit from R&D tax credit and uh, if you hire young PhDs, uh, how much your R&D uh, will cost you. So it's time now to uh, let uh, Guillaume uh, Serafine uh, our expert from Saint-Quentin and Yvelines uh, talk about uh, this incredible area. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm delighted to have this opportunity to, to present uh, Saint-Quentin and Yvelines, uh, the Paris region uh, Cyber Valley. Uh, Saint-Quentin and Yvelines is an urban community, which is today the, the second economic uh, center of the west of Paris uh, after La Défense uh, Business Center and it's also the first uh, area in GDP per capita uh, after Paris and uh, the territory is also at only uh, 20 uh, kilometers away from Paris. Uh, we have uh, 17,000 uh, companies uh, settled in Saint-Quentin Yvelines, including uh, many world leaders in automotive, uh, in automotive, uh, aerospace, uh, defense, security, health, and uh, smart cities uh, industries. Here are some pictures uh, of uh, Renault Tech Center, which is uh, the biggest uh, R&D center in France. Uh, you have here uh, uh, a photography of uh, Airbus uh, uh, Defense and Space and uh, here the headquarters of uh, Wig Construction and Mercedes-Benz France. Sorry. 
We have, uh, we, I said uh, we have 17,000 companies settled in Saint-Quentin, Yvelines. And uh, as you can see on the right side, uh, many international companies like uh, Nissan Europe, uh, BMW, IKEA, uh, D-Link uh, also chose the territory. Um, Saint-Quentin, Yvelines is also part of uh, Paris Saclay Tech Cluster. Uh, Thomas already uh, talked about it before, uh, which is one of the eight most innovative clusters in the world, according to MIT Tech Review, uh, next to Silicon Valley, uh, Boston, Tech City, London, and others. Uh, this tech cluster is also 3.5 bigger than uh, Paris and is located at the southwest of Paris. The best uh, French universities and R&D laboratories are gathering there, gather there and uh, will soon represent 25% uh, of public and private research in France. So Saint-Quentin-Yvelines is also a cybersecurity hub in Paris region. Uh, many top cybersecurity companies, uh, as well as uh, cyber startups and SMEs have chosen uh, our territory to develop their activities. Here is an overview uh, of this ecosystem, and you probably already know some of them, uh, Airbus, uh, Atos, or, or, or TLS. Uh, we are also proud to have in this ecosystem uh, the AFNIC organization, which uh, manages the French top-level domain suffixes uh, on the internet. So major uh, French cybersecurity operations center are located uh, in Saint-Quentin-Yvelines to supervise and protect critical services of France. Over uh, cyber facilities complete uh, this ecosystem with a cyber threat intelligence center by Bertin IT, uh, cyber evaluation, uh, security evaluation center by uh, OPIDA, and a cyber training center by SILA that will open uh, this year. Uh, ATOS will also open in a few months now, uh, is World R&D Laboratory for Quantum Computing, but also for cybersecurity with developments in uh, post-quantum cryptography. You can see a picture of this laboratory and uh, the ATOS Quantum Learning Machine that uh, can simulate uh, 40 qubits. So we also have a complete offer for cyber security training. The main difficulty for a cyber security company in France is the recruitment of cyber security experts. And Sebastian told it before, uh, technician too. So to tackle this uh, challenge, we, are, we already have a strong offer in cybersecurity training, but we are still expanding it with, for example, the opening of a new diploma uh, from Saint-Quentin University this year. Regarding to R&D projects, we, are also, uh, we, we also accompany our companies to deploy on-site cyber security experimentation. Uh, here you have the example of uh, PACLIDO. PACLIDO is an R&D project led by Airbus Cybersecurity to develop new protocol, algorithm, and lightweight cryptography for securing IoT. Uh, Saint-Quentin Yvelines facilitates here a smart city experimentation on its uh, public lightning. This is uh, an, another example of our experimentation support. We will uh, this year um, we will open this year a 5G open platform uh, on an Olympic site, the National Velodrome. Uh, this platform will allow startups and large companies to develop some cybersecurity experimentations. Uh, we will propose dedicated uh, challenges uh, during the next three years on this topic. We are also a member of the European Cybersecurity Organization and we are currently working with uh, other regions on connecting European cyber valleys. A pilot program 
the overall objective of this program is to map um, ecosystems, uh, cyber ecosystems in Europe and especially uh, give uh, for SMEs and startups uh, an European uh, visibility. So together we are also developing an European cyber um, acceleration program for startups uh, to facilitate their European growth. Uh, Saint-Quentin Ulvin is also partnering with uh, cyber events, for example, with the Paris Cyber Week and uh, the Paris uh, region Horizon Cyber. We are currently working with ECSO on the Cyber Investor Day uh, to connect European cyber startups and international VCs. We also have a cyber compass uh, project in order to create links uh, between the existing offers and new ones. The main objective will be to gather in the same place complementary uh, activities uh, with research laboratories, cyber training platform, uh, incubation and acceleration program, conference room, specific real estate offer for cybersecurity companies and uh, many more. So to unlock your cyber business opportunities, you can choose Saint-Quentin Yveline in Paris region that will allow you to facilitate your recruitment by an adaptive training offer, uh, have a wide uh, B2B landscape with large company, be well connected with uh, Paris and La Défense business district, rely on many cyber facilities, uh, be accompanied for your R&D project, participate to specialized events that will allow you to know, to be known in the French uh, cyber ecosystem and be in relationship with uh, over European cyber ecosystem through uh, UCSO. Uh, thank, thank you for your attention and uh, I'm at your disposal for any further um, information. Uh, it was it was Guillaume from uh, Saint Quentin and Evelyn. Thank you, Guillaume. Uh, this was a, a, an excellent overview of your uh, the opportunities that your area can offer. Um, it's time um, now to let uh, Stefan speak. So, uh, Stefan, uh, this is uh, your time to uh, present uh, your experience. You represent. Uh, uh, a startup based located in uh, in Paris region. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, okay, so again, hello everybody. I'm um, Stefan Contio. I'm in charge with uh, operations at uh, SEAL, a French cyber uh, cybersecurity startup uh, with offices in Paris. So I'm in charge with the broad spectrum of uh, operations in a cybersecurity startup meaning um, I make sure security is up and running, meaning it's operational and uh, it's efficient. I'm also leading science, innovation, I'm managing the organization. Um, and least but not, uh, last but not least, I'm um, doing business operations. So we're gonna focus mostly on that during this presentation. I'm gonna wait till the slide is gonna up. Okay. Can you see uh, slide two? Yes, excellent. Did it change? Yes, you okay, can go on. Cool. So what we do at SEAL is we, we create a product which uh, uh, basically does end-to-end -end encryption uh, for file storage uh, and sharing. So think of it as a, as a Dropbox, but with an extra layer of end-to-end uh, uh, -end encryption, which means that the encryption keys are uh, exclu exclusively seen by uh, and managed only by the end users. So the, the system is called Parsec uh, Cloud and it's uh, at the link that is on the screen. Besides the product, we also have a software development activity on site projects, which is mostly to ensure uh, cash inflow and finance our uh, product development. For example, one of our customers is uh, the Ministry of the French Ministry of uh, Interior. 
and I'm going to tell you a little bit of uh, our story uh, and um, I'm going to start with uh, the beginning when we had an idea of a product but we didn't have money so we took advantage of the best instrument that uh, exists for financing cyber security, cyber security projects in France uh, which is called the Rapid uh, DGA uh, project, financing project. It's handled by the Ministry of Defense. So we got some uh, public money for doing uh, a code prototype and, and research. Um, I cannot tell you the exact amount, but uh, I can tell you that it was enough to pay three software engineers uh, for two years. And then we also got some uh, um, technical follow-up by a crypto expert uh, uh, who, who, closed, who, who zoomed in all our security protocols and architecture. And we got all these benefits uh, without losing any shares, uh, nor giving uh, IP uh, away. So we kept 100% control of, uh, of our business. And after the second year, which uh, was actually last year, uh, we were nearly ready with, uh, with our product. We are not operational yet. Uh, however, we, we burnt all this uh, public money that uh, we got. So we were asking ourselves, what are we gonna do next? And then we did uh, our next uh, move, which was uh, very beneficial for us. Uh, and this move was joining a, a business cluster Thomas briefly presented the, the options that are in, in the Paris, Parisian region. We chose uh, systematic uh, um, business uh, clusters. So these business uh, clusters, they, uh, they have as goal uh, um, to enable the collaboration between uh, um, businesses, uh, research agencies, and in case of startups to, to help them uh, accelerate. And you get advantages like uh, networking, they have contacts uh, with uh, decision leaders in big French companies, they, they do all kinds of events, you get exposure and so on. But in our case, uh, by far the biggest advantage that uh, we got from uh, Systematic is that uh, they know pretty much everything about accessing uh, public funds uh, for startups. So with their help, we got some more money after our initial financing uh, that uh, gives us uh, two more years um, for enhancing uh, our product. And we're right now finishing the first of, of these two years and we already have our product operational and uh, starting our first sales. So this is pretty much thanks to the, uh, the cluster. A different instrument that we make use of uh, in order to run our business uh, is the Credit and Poor Recherche. So this instrument is offered by the, the government to companies that can prove that uh, they perform uh, research and, and innovations, that they perform research and innovation. And um, concretely, it consists of paying less taxes and this is uh, pretty much proportional with the number of uh, man hours dedicated to, to research and development. So to give you an idea of how it works in our company, we have 65% of our uh, activity categorized as uh, research and development. And that amounts uh, for a benefit that is equivalent to a, a quarter of uh, the cash inflow in our company. Yeah, so we, we, our cash inflow is uh, pretty much one quarter coming from credit and pro research. Another quarter is coming from uh, the public fund. And uh, the, and half of, uh, of our cash inflow comes from uh, the, our, ter from the turnover, chiffre d'affaires uh, in French. Okay. Um, Regarding customers, uh, it's good to know that uh, France is a very centralized uh, country and uh, pretty much everything happens in Paris. Uh, and most likely there is where 
uh, your big customers uh, are going to be. So either if you're talking about uh, French administration or national, national uh, institutions, uh, um, they're all in Paris. You have uh, the, the headquarters of um, the major French uh, private uh, corporations and, and then you have the events like the, the Olympic Games that uh, Thomas mentioned happening in Paris. So uh, if you want to be close to your customers uh, in France, uh, you need to have an office in Paris. Uh, a few words on innovation. Uh, we perform, we do quite some um, some research work, and to help us uh, with doing this research work, we contracted um, a research institute. So actually, you can pay uh, an established uh, um, research institute to do the work for you, and we chose. Uh, the CAEA, which stands for uh, Commissariat à l'énergie atomique, it's the Atomic Energy uh, Commission in France. In France, uh, they're very famous for doing uh, research. And these kind of partnerships, they're in encouraged and financed uh, by the state. And in our case, it was the, the cluster, the, the business cluster that uh, made this uh, collaboration possible. Yeah, and um, yeah, finally, don't hesitate to, to reach out. Uh, we're uh, always uh, looking for uh, uh, partners in our uh, research project. Uh, projects, uh, if you are interested in uh, cell wheat type of partnerships, uh, contact us, or uh, generally, we're always happy to talk about uh, cybersecurity. So don't hesitate to drop us a line. Excellent, Stefan. Thank you. Thank you very much. I, I, I suppose that uh, you appreciated this uh, testimony of uh, an experienced uh, startup uh, that is uh, that managed to grow with uh, a, a purely um, a cyber security uh, solution. Uh, so um, I just Okay, let's go. Uh, so it's time now to answer uh, the different questions that we received. Thank you to uh, to the audience for asking uh, this. You can still ask your question uh, through the uh, question uh, box uh, on your interface. Um, so uh, first, uh, there is a question about uh, the, um, uh, the, 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 the way France uh, government, French government support uh, newcomers. Uh, I think that all that uh, Stéphane Cantu from SIL uh, said about what they received as, as a public support and incentives for, for R&D is, uh, is true as soon as uh, the foreign company is established in, in Paris region or in France. The, the idea is that uh, you can go through uh, the um, uh, the public support of True Paris region, for example, to uh, establish uh, your your company. Uh, as soon as the company is set up, you become a French a beneficiary of all the public support. So that's uh, a short explanation. Um, but there is a, another question, uh, another question related to this, uh, asking about. Uh, is it easy to make business uh, on government side and uh, with private sector? And uh, I want to uh, to let uh, Sebastian uh, from the uh, Paris Cyber uh, Paris Cyber Week and from the, the, the Cyber Task Force uh, answer this question. Uh, so uh, go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, the French government works with everyone and uh, has no uh, problem with any nationality. There is uh, one criteria maybe that could be uh, useful to know is that um, for every sensitive issues, then there is a process. But uh, to, to work with the government, it's a question of um, of product and services, and if your service of, or your product is the best 
for what they need, then they, they will work with you. With yeah, with you, uh, we have lots of example of uh, of a foreign uh, enterprise that working with the French government. But uh, I would um, warmly uh, address you to ANSI, which is our national information security uh, agency, and. Um, ANSI is delivering a certification that um, that prove in a way the the the, the quality of your uh, of your service or your product, and then this certification helps you to work with everyone, of course, but uh, with the French government in particular uh, as. You hearing me. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Uh, as uh, cyber security and cyber defense are a subject of trust, every uh, every tool that can uh, give trust to your partner uh, is helping. And um, ANSI's uh, certification uh, is probably uh, one of the of the main uh, tool for that. Can I maybe just talk about defense? If you want to address the MOD, do not hesitate. They are working also with everyone um, from the States uh, to uh, the, to Europe at this stage. But uh, with the defense also, you have business opportunities. Hey, th thank you. Uh, this is, uh, I suppose, a, a good uh, first answer to this uh, question of uh, trust and uh, uh, compliance with the French uh, regulation and how to sell your uh, solution in France. Um, there, there is a question about um, Exatrust, the, uh, uh, the professional association. Uh, is it uh, something um, we can describe a bit more? I suppose that uh, the best would be to uh, see the Exatrust uh, news uh, to, uh, to, to have uh, all the information. This is a place where you can do business, you can have more information about uh, the, uh, the, the different opportunities. Uh, maybe one more uh, question for Sébastien. So what, do you, what can you say uh, in, in a few words about Exatrust? Yeah, thank you, Thomas. Exatrust um, is uh, leading by Jean-Noël de Gazelin, uh, which is uh, president of Wallix. You may know Wallix because it's the only French firm uh, um, on the uh, on, uh, market, I mean, uh, on the uh, CAC 40. Um, Exatrust is very, very French and very, very um, uh, uh, focused on sovereignty. So you will find in Exatrust lots of, uh, of partners, but it's gonna be difficult to get into Exatrust as uh, it is a French hub for, uh, for the French SMEs to go abroad. Uh, but there is inside a very interesting uh, SMEs and partnership um, I trust is part of uh, of it, but uh, you you can find a lot of them, um, and they are all very willing to cooperate. So do not hesitate to contact members of Exatrust and at least um, Exatrust itself just to know them because uh, they are very well known and they have good reputation, but uh, they are focused on their interest. Um, yes, there there are questions about how to uh, to do business in in France. Uh, this is an excellent question uh, because when when people think think from abroad on how to do business in France. Uh, they think about a uh, kind of complexity, but uh, be sure that we are, as a, as a 
public organization dedicated to support the, the, the setup of foreign companies in France, we are here to help at any step of the process and we can uh, give you the best connection with uh, lawyers, with uh, administration and uh, this will ease your uh, setup uh, for sure. Uh, so the idea is to really go through the, our kind of organization. Uh, once again, it's free of charge and we just want you to uh, create jobs. So it's, uh, it's really uh, our mission. Um, and other question about um, uh, how to uh, do pilots. Uh, maybe uh, Stefan, you can uh, give a, a bit of the answer, a part of the answer. Uh, uh, because when uh, some, someone is asking, uh, our software for our, for our critical servers is very effective but connects directly to customer infrastructure and we are looking for key enterprise reference customers. Uh, so uh, how would you do this? Uh, if, uh, if you can just testimony um, uh, from your side, Stefan, um, uh, what did you do to, to make pilots with your customers? How does it work? Yeah, so that's a, that's an interesting question. First, it depends on the on on the type of business, right? If, whether you're B two B or B two C, uh, we're uh, uh, definitely targeting the B two B segment. So, uh, I think in 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 B two B, it's it's easier to to set up uh, pilots because uh, uh, you just need to identify a, a list of. Uh, of potential uh, uh, customers or early adopters that are uh, willing to accept uh, testing, playing with the product, using uh, using the product, uh, enthusiasts uh, that uh, that have uh, also need of uh, of the functionalities that the, the product is offering. So that, that's exactly what we did. We shortlisted a number of uh, of uh, organizations, and uh, we. Um, approached all, all these organizations with our proposal for for doing a pilot and um, yeah it's uh, um, I would say it's uh, it's 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 not a complex process um, as long as uh, as uh, your customers uh, as long as you you know that your customers have the needs of the functionalities that the, your product is uh, is bringing. Uh, of course, it has some some legal implications. You need to to sign a legal agreement. Uh, you would probably need to give uh, some incentive to your participants in in your pilot program. Uh, a number of free months or a, or a number of free subscriptions. Yeah. Okay, Stefan, this is a, a, a good uh, uh, advice and of course a, any, um, any solution as a specific uh, solution to, uh, to, to be introduced on, on the market. Uh, but the, um, the idea is that in B2B you have to, uh, to negotiate uh, good conditions to, uh, to start a pilot phase. Thank you. Um, the, uh, the question compared to London and other cybersecurity centers, uh, what are Paris cybersecurity staff salaries? Do you have an uh, idea, maybe Stefan, you, uh, you hire people uh, with excellent uh, um, curriculum in, in cybersecurity. Uh, did you uh, make a benchmark with other European places and what can you uh, say about that? Um, well, we did not benchmark with uh, any other places that are uh, outside of France. So we we know what the, the salary situation is uh, inside France. We know, for example, that okay. Paris is uh, more expensive than the other uh, parts of, uh, of France. But um, I would just uh, direct uh, um, whoever is interested in finding this kind of information to Glassdoor or, 
online tools that uh, exist yes. on the web to uh, compare it, such so statistics. I think they're quite let's let's keep this uh, this question for for later we will try to uh, to answer it uh, there are some benchmarks uh, and i will try to to find it thank you for for the question anyway do do you have other questions uh, is there any um, subject that was not well uh, treated yet um, uh, on the question panel it's mostly that so um, I think, yes, it's time to thank you. Uh, all, all our speakers today were really uh, useful to, uh, to uh, give uh, this overview of business opportunities in, in Paris region. Uh, I hope that you will be um, uh, really uh, uh, just, uh, uh, that we will see you soon uh, in, uh, in Paris region uh, to uh, give you uh, more insights and uh, more uh, an idea of the opportunities you you can have access to uh, the um, uh, but in the meantime please follow the news about uh, our economic development agency uh, on the different uh, social networks uh, thank you very much to everyone uh, and uh, see you on, in the next webinar Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.